This game is called Magica. You know what? I'm too fucking sick to talk. Fuck this shit. Here, take the helm. I'm going to bed or something. But what do I do? Whatever the fuck you want. This is an older game anyways. So this is going to be more like a re review or some shit like that. Okay, feel better, honey bun. Fuck you, I'm going to bed. So, like my lesser half said, this game is Magica. This is a bit of an older game, but to be quite honest, there are no new games out there that I want to review. And being that I have lady parts and all, I'm allowed to do whatever I want. This game is right up my alley. It combines a few laughs and a lot of magic. The game can be played as a solo, for those bad mood kind of nights, or with your friends when you're feeling more sociable. Magic I get shit on a lot, because there were like a thousand updates first when it came out, and it was buggy as hell. There's even a spell in the game called Crash to Desktop, but Paradox worked really hard to update the game several times and now it runs much more smoothly. You start out and you're being guided to help a town by a vampire. Strange, I know, but the text dialogues are very witty. There are very subtle jokes, as well as not so subtle Star Trek references. Come! You use your keyboard to make a combination of magics to create bigger spells. You can combine all the same kind of magic to have an even more powerful spell. As you travel through the land, you will find books that contain new combinations for you to try. Revive is a very important combo as you can bring your allies back to life to help you. It gets kind of annoying when you're playing with other people sometimes though, because if you get in the way of their spells, you're basically dead, especially if lightning is in the mix. Let's just say that's a pretty dangerous magic to cast. I really like the graphic style for this game. It's not lifelike or anything hardcore, but it looks like a game. I play games to escape from my own life for a few hours. Why the hell do I want it to look like reality? I'm sure a lot of you guys out there are probably thinking, this chick knows absolutely nothing about games, why am I listening to her? Well, I've been gaming my whole life pretty much and I just really enjoy it. And I can really just go on my own experiences to form an opinion or review a game. You know what they say, opinions are like assholes and everybody's got one. I hope this review was really helpful if you were trying to decide whether or not to purchase this game. And if you have a friend to buy it as well, all the better. Look forward to the next review by Dorman for the Likes and Dislikes show, The Cursed Crusade. That is, if he finally gets better. I have to go make him some chicken noodle soup now, so until next time, folks. Hold up, wait just one second. This is my review, and I want to give this game an 8.7. And I'm not going to break down the statistics or tell you why. It's just what I think this game gets. Enjoy. Enjoy.